Hi, this is Bill Higgins from the Jazz Team. This video will demonstrate how to configure the Jazz Team server with the requirements management, change and configuration management, and quality management applications using the 3.0 beta 2 version of the code. For this demonstration, I'm going to run the Jazz Team server and all of the applications from a single application server instance on a single 64-bit Unix-based operating system. For information on supported configurations and resource requirements, please refer to the system requirements document. To start the server, I'm going to go to a command line and run the server.startup script. Now I'm going to open my web browser and go to the Jazz Team Server Setup Wizard. Note that the first time you load the Setup Wizard, it will take a couple of minutes. Also, please make sure to use one of our supported web browsers, which are Firefox 3.5 and 3.6, and Internet Explorer 8 and 7. The very first time you access the Setup Wizard, log in with a special user ID and password, admin and admin, all caps. Later on, we'll create a real user for ourselves. The Jazz Team Server Setup Wizard has been completely overhauled for Beta 2. If you participated in Beta 1, you may remember that you had to run through multiple setup wizards and then configuration files. In Beta 2, we're going to perform all setup through this single setup wizard. First, we configure the Jazz Team Server itself, and the first step of that is to configure the public URI. The public URI is your URL from the scheme to the host name up to the application context route. Put that there and then click Test Connection. Note you may see an invalid warning message during Beta 2 that will fix during the first release candidate. Then click Next. By default, the Jazz Team Server, or JTS, is pre-configured to use a pre-built Derby database, though you may wish to change this to an enterprise database like DB2 Oracle, or SQL Server. I'm going to keep the default configuration. I'm going to keep the default settings for the data warehouse and the email notification as well. The setup user registry step is a relatively important step because it's here that we're going to create our initial admin user and assign licenses to that admin user. First, we choose our registry type. Since this is just a test deployment, not an enterprise deployment, I'm going to use the Tomcat user database instead of LDAP. Now I'm going to create my initial user. The initial user will be given Jazz Admin's privileges. By default, we also disable the admin user for security precautions. Now I'm going to assign myself two license types. I'm going to grant myself the Rational Team Concert Developer License and the Rational Quality Manager Quality Professional License. I then click Next to continue. The next step, Register Applications, is new with Beta 2. To understand this step, it's important to understand that the Jazz Team Server acts as a hub that helps applications like requirements management, change and configuration management, and quality management discover each other's services and data resources. This step binds the applications to a Jazz Team server. By default, the register application step discovers applications that are physically co-located on the same node and application server instance as the Jazz Team server. If I wish to register an application that was installed on a different physical node, I could click the Add Application button and then manually enter its information. But since I'm using a single node and single application server instance install, I'm just going to stick with the defaults and click Register Applications. After registration completes, notice that the Setup Wizard's left navigation panel has been updated with contributions from each of the applications. This is the way we've been able to go from multiple setup wizards in Beta 1 to a single unified setup wizard in Beta 2. Now I'm going to step through each of the application setup steps. For quality management, I'm going to keep the default database.
For the public URI, I'm going to stick with the default, but I have to test it first. Again, you can ignore the warning message. And keep the default data warehouse. The finalized application step for QM completes its registration with the Jazz Team server, registers QM with the Lifecycle Project Administration application, and sets up user synchronization between QM and the Jazz Team server. With user synchronization, you can manage users in one place, the Jazz Team server, and they'll be automatically replicated to QM and later CCM. Now I'll go through the setup steps for change in configuration management. These steps are almost exactly the same as quality management. Again, I'm going to keep the default database. For public URI, I'll test the connection and accept the default, and I'll accept the default for the data warehouse. The finalized application step once again finishes registration with the Jazz Team server, registers CCM with Lifecycle Project Administration, and configures CCM to synchronize users with the Jazz Team server. Requirements management has a single step. Just click the Configure button and wait for the success message. The final setup step is to configure Lifecycle Project Administration, or LPA. Just click the button and LPA will link together all of the other applications and deploy the application's process templates. And with that, we're done with setup. We've configured the Jazz Team Server, Quality Management, Change and Configuration Management, and Requirements Management, and we've configured all of these to work together. Now let's smoke test our installation by creating a lifecycle project. I click the create project button, choose a template, give my project a name, and click save. And we've now created a lifecycle project that includes project areas from each of the applications that we configured as part of the unified setup wizard. This concludes our demonstration of configuring the Jazz Team server to work with requirements management, changing configuration management, and quality management using the 3.0 beta 2 code. Thank you.